WYCF, your local view on WVBKCA, serving Manchester, Londonderry, Vermont, and South Charlestown, New Hampshire, and WVBQLP, serving Charlestown, New Hampshire, and Rockingham, Vermont. Coming up tonight on YCN, Hartford police arrested a man for robbing the Jiffy Martin Queechy after tracking him down with canine units. A new distillery in Windsor begins to take shape. Meet the owner of the Canoe Club in Hanover, John Chapin, and Liz Tantorelli, co-president of the New Hampshire League of Women Voters, talks to Capital Connections' John O'Connor. For more news and weather, stay tuned. It's time for YCN, your local view. Now, your daily digest of the Dartmouth Lake Sunapee region. News, sports, weather, public affairs, and all that is happening in our area. The YCN News Hour, your local view. Good evening and welcome to YCN. I'm David Carmichael. A Hartford, Vermont man is facing a charge of burglary after allegedly breaking into the Jiffy Mart on Woodstock Road in Quichi and stealing $1,000. Please say Jacob Waters was fired from Jiffy Mart and parked his car behind a restaurant across the street before breaking in and taking the $1,000 and then fleeing. Police were at the scene when the alarm came in. A Lebanon police canine and a Vermont State Police canine assisted Hartford police after a lengthy investigation and a search of approximately three square miles of woods. Police recovered the stolen cash from Jiffy Mart. Waters is scheduled to appear in Windsor Superior Court Criminal Division today to answer to the charge. Two early morning fires in Springfield and Ludlow left a pair of families homeless. We told you about the one in Springfield yesterday. Firefighters from 11 towns were called to assist in battling the blazes, but despite their efforts, the single-family home on Clinton Street in Springfield was completely destroyed and a log home at Andover Road was consumed by flames. No one was injured in either fire, but two young four-member families were left without homes. The American Red Cross is providing temporary lodging and other assistance to both families. Neither fire was deemed suspicious, and both had their origins in faulty wood heating systems. In Springfield, an unknown problem with a wood stove was suspected, while a pellet stove in the basement of a Ludlow home was suspected to cause the log cabin fire. Vermont Governor Peter Shumlin ordered the Vermont State House, along with all federal and state facilities and public buildings, for their flags to be lowered today to honor Representative Greg Clark, who was struck and killed by a car while cleaning off his windshield last Friday. Greg Clark made a name for himself in Vermont as a lawmaker serving the public for the past 10 years. He also taught students for more than double that time. Clark is survived by his wife, Aline, and his two children. American Crafted Spirits will soon be joining Harpoon Brewery in the Windsor Industrial Park, where it will produce silo vodka made from locally grown wheat and corn. We received these pictures from the newly renovated 3,000 square foot barn where the vodka will be produced. There will only be three and a half jobs in the plant to start with. However, CEO Peter Gilson expects the company to expand to five new jobs as the business grows. Sculptor Emily Birch and 6th and 7th grade students from the Indian River School in Canaan, New Hampshire collaborated to create New Hampshire's official ornaments in the 2012 National Christmas Tree. The tree is displayed in President's Park in Washington, D.C. throughout December. Birch and the students worked with the art teacher, Cynthia Cummings, for several weeks this fall, creating ornaments that represent a variety of New Hampshire winter activities and the beauty of the White Mountains. The lighting takes place on Thursday, December 6th at 5 p.m. It will be live streamed and available online. After the break, we'll get a Home Care Matters Health Tip segment on how to deal with stress during the holidays. Stay tuned. The YCN News Hour continues in a moment. 